military hero of the nation. Though he doesn't always follow regulations. At the sound of reveille, he is here for you to see. And we know you'll laugh at Private Beagle Bailey. Beagle Bailey. That's the general, colonel, major, and the captain. The lieutenant and the sergeant and the corporal. They will tell you with a shout. They would gladly live without a certain private by the name of Beagle Bailey. Beetle Bailey! Sergeant Snortle, I have sad news for you. <laughs> what are you crying for? I haven't told it to you yet. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I told you it was sad news. You're not going to promote me to lieutenant. Worse than that, I'm going to have to transfer you from Camp Swampy. <laughs> you report to Camp Crumbun tomorrow at 0900. The chicken, the charge. It's all right, men. You can all go right back to bed for all I care. You're putting this on, Daddy O. Negative. Scabbard is putting me out. I have to leave Camp Swampy for good. For all good, right, Sarge? Tomorrow morning, men. You are going to lose your beloved sergeant. Yeah! I never realized you guys would take it so hard. <laughs> Farewell, sweet troops. Remember when I sprained my ankle and had a report for guard duty, and the sergeant said that even though it's against regulations, I could hop instead of walk? That's a pal for you. Remember that? Uh, you remember when the Sarge took that beautiful blonde away from me for my own good? That was a pal. Coolant, coolant troops, snorkel has got to stay, and I've got a way to do it. Now hear this. Well, that's the plan. Do you think you can do it? I, Melvin the Great, master hypnotist. I could hypnotize a war. Uh, here comes the worm, uh, the shards, now. I hope it won't take too long to hypnotize him. The stronger the mind, the longer it takes to hypnotize. Sergeant Snorkel! You hate the army. I hate the army. Especially the brass. Especially the brash. Your superiors are inferiors, and you know it. You will insult, ridicule. I will ridicule. You will, you will, you will. I will, I will already. <laughs> good afternoon, Sergeant. What's good about it, stupid? <laughs> That's stupid, sir. And that salute is highly unorthodox. Now, let's not forget our military courtesy. Sergeant, I want to conduct a surprise inspection of the barracks. Oh, this is fine, Snorkel. OK, <laughs> top notch. <laughs> Snorkel, what gotten into you? You are an inferior superior. Sergeant Snorkel, huh? Bullseye! Captain Scabbard will have a full rep report, and he's going to get an earful. I always knew you were a feather brain. Feather brain. I can't believe this about Snorkel. A shock of the transfer, perhaps. I'll break him to private. I have no other choice. I can't thank you guys enough for getting me busted. Now I'm one of you guys. We're buddies, pals. You'll all learn to love me. Gee, Sarge, I can't see you as a buddy. Duh, let's face it, Sarge. You ain't the lovable type. Oh, guys, you gotta give me a chance. You just don't cut the mustard, Sarge. Hey, can't I come with you? No fraternizing, you dig? Like Plato once said, once a leader, always a loner. Now, 
Well, Private Snorkel, I'm pleased to report that the disrespect the men now have for you has reached an all-time high. Therefore, I've decided to overlook what's happened and give you another chance. That'll be all, Sergeant Snorkel. Thank you, sir. I understand, sir. They hate me good, sir. Ten hot balls, hates four hearts. You had to go home with your left. Sound of Rungu! Sound of Revolta! I got that ring again my ears again. That's no ringing. That's old son. Sounds like his old self again. Heaven help us.